Oil loses out of a tank overnight and into a woman's catfish pond. Hello there, I'm Charlie Haldeman. It's a story we broke on First News at Noon. A Murray County couple outraged by what they say is environmental irresponsibility. Robin Beal joins us live from the Ardmore Newsroom with tonight's top story. Robin. That's right, Charlie. When Pebbles Minion woke up this morning, she never expected to find crude oil flowing down her driveway and into her pond. But this is what Mrs. Minion saw when she looked out her window. She and her husband have been involved in a legal battle for years with Stone River Energy. The company who owns the oil tanks on her land, Stone River, has the mineral rights. And the Minions say that company has been negligent in maintaining their equipment. We found court papers dating back to 2006. The Minions say this is just the latest incident involving leaks and discharges on their land. Everything from crude oil, as we saw today, to salt water. I feel like I have no rights as a landowner. I mean, it's, you know, we've turned in complaints. We've called the Corporation Commission. We have this ongoing suit and, you know, nothing. We can't get anything done. What is it that you want done? I just want my land to be cleaned up and I want the leaks to be stopped. Now, smell is something that doesn't really translate that great on television, but the noxious fumes of petroleum could even be detected from the road. Representatives from the oil company told me they have no idea how that oil spill occurred, but that shoddy equipment was not a factor. We will hear more from the oil company coming up tonight at 10. Live in the Ardmore Newsroom, Robin Beal, First News.